early dynastic period, also abbreviated to ED, is yet another important archaeological culture located in southern Mesopotamia, or known now as modern-day Iraq. The early dynastic period is estimated to be dated to 2900 to 2300 BC. The early dynastic period came after the Jemdet Nasser period, a short-lived period which saw much needed improvements to society. The early dynastic period was succeeded by the Akkadian period. This period is further divided into three subgroups. These subgroups are recognized as early dynastic or ED 1, 2, and 3. ED 3 is then divided again into ED 3A and ED 3B. We have not found any writings that confirm any names of kings in the early dynastic 1 period. How we differentiate the ED 1 and ED 2 period is that the ED1 period had thinner cylinder seals and the ED2 period had broader seals, inscribed with banquet scenes or contests with animals. It is here in the early dynastic II period when Gilgamesh, the king of Uruk, was believed to have ruled. The ED3A period, also called the Fara period, is when writing using syllables began. The writings before this point were mostly administrative, but the full extent of human speech was first recorded around 2600 BC, just at the beginning of the Fara period, when we see the inscribed clay tablets that hold many literary texts as well as poetic songs. The ED3B period is also recognized as the pre-Sargonic period. So, when was the early dynastic period first recognized as a Mesopotamian period? The term was developed in the 1930s by the archaeologist Henry Frankford. Frankford led excavations as a representative of the Oriental Institute of the sites of Caliphaja, Tel Agrab, and Tel Asmar in the Dila region in Iraq. Here's a map of the region. Why do we get three subgroups in the early dynastic period? Well, that model is predominantly based on the complete changes through time in the plan of the Abu Temple of Tel Asmar, which was rebuilt several times in the exact same spot. Ever since their findings, the early dynastic period through 1 to 3 has generally been applied to excavations in other sites in Iraq. Through the 20th century, there were many archaeologists that tried to enact the early dynastic 1 to 3 model on archaeological remains of that of the 3rd millennium BC. The excavated sites were in other places in Iraq and northeastern Syria, but from gathering more and more evidence from the sites and other places in Iraq, it is clear that the ED 1-3 model that was termed from the Dila region does not directly relate to other regions in Iraq. As for referring to the ED 1-3 model in Syria, research has shown that the developments in Syria were very different from the Dila region, as well as southern Iraq pretty much making the southern Mesopotamian timeline pointless. In the 1990s and 2000s, there were efforts made by several scholars to agree to a northern Mesopotamian chronology, creating the early Jezero timeline that contains the whole 3rd millennium BC. So now the early dynastic 1-3 to timeline is now usually narrowed down to southern Mesopotamia, while the ED2 period, occasionally being limited to the Dila region, or left out completely. As far as the dating goes, for the early dynastic period, the ED1 period is from 2900 to 2750 BC and is found mostly in ancient Ur. In this period, we see the large cities come to prominence, such as Uruk. The cities were ruled by a king and his family with vast riches. The ED2 period is from 2750 to 2600 BC. This is when we see the increasing importance of the city-states. We see a rise in building and enhancements in the quality of artistic products, like chlorite bowls. Another key importance to the ED2 period is that it may have been a period of rulers, including Gilgamesh, which these kings' names lasted long enough to be told in later legends. In the ED3A period, from 2600 to 2450 BC, conflicts break out between city-states. Cuneiform writing is used more broadly. First literary texts are in Sumerian and a Semitic language. We can see this in the Farah and Abu Sabalakif. A prominent king in this period was Mesempeda from 2500 BC. In the ED3B period, from 2450 to 2350 BC, 
the city-states fought each other for domination of southern Mesopotamia. We can see this in records at the site of Tel Talo with the ancient city of Girsu. A good example of a conflict is the Uma Lagesh border conflict. We can generally see records of this period at Lagesh and Uma. A prominent king in the ED 3B period is Lugal Zaijizi from 2350 BC. As for important dynasties of the early dynastic period, I think it would be best to just list them instead because they definitely deserve their own videos. Here are the dynasties. First Dynasty of Kish, First Dynasty of Uruk, First Dynasty of Ur, First Dynasty of Awan, Second Dynasty of Uruk, Empire of Lugal Ani Mundu of Adab, Kukbo and the Third Dynasty of Kish, Dynasty of Akshek, First Dynasty of Lagesh, Empire of Lugal Zaijizi of Uruk, was then eventually overthrown by Sargon of Akkad. As you can see, the early dynastic period as a whole has more history contained within the period. One of the main reasons is the advancement in writing, as writing creates history. The city-states became powerful, and with that power, sought out to conquer others. What do you guys think about the early dynastic period so far? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any ideas for videos, make sure to let me know. If you liked the video, leave a like. It really helps me out. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more historical content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.